Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you are new, welcome. And if you are not new, thank you for coming back for another video. So today I have a makeup playtime video for you guys. And I'm going to do more of these where I just pull some products that I have been wanting to try, wanting to use, wanting to get a little bit more creative with my makeup looks. Okay, I wanted to do that on this type of a video. So I can't do that often because the way my makeup, um, the way my work is set up, the way my recording schedule is set up, I only have like maybe a day to do this um, a week. So um, I wanted to bring this little series to you where I can do some more out there looks for you guys, a little bit more colorful and play with some of the palettes that I have been really trying to, really wanting to get to play with. Okay, so here we are. Leela Palette, um, Fenty Foundation, um, Tom Ford Highlights, uh, other products, okay? A plethora of products. If you want to see how I achieved this look today, then definitely stay tuned. Oh, I always forget. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and definitely hit the thumbs up button if you do indeed like this video. And I will be talking to you guys really soon. Stay tuned for the look. All right, I'm going into my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Just had a sneezing session, so my apologies for the sniffles. <laughs> I actually wanna use another primer on top of this. Um, I like this primer, it is in my haul, my January makeup haul, so yes. But I've got a new primer that I want to put on in this video just because I think the foundation I use I'm, that I'm going to be using is matte. So I'm gonna be using the sample that I got from Beautylish. It's by this company called VDL, and it's their Lumi Layer Primer. And this gives you a nice luminous glow on your skin. My face and the, you know, areas that you would like put a moisturizer basically. And I, so I think the premise with this company, VDL, is that it's supposed to like help you to achieve like a glass skin like look. So and I think all they make is primers. So I just got back from Sephora and I picked up the Fenty Beauty Pr Foundation. I've never tried, well I've tried this foundation in a sample and it was in the shade 430. It looked cool, you know, I could make it work but it was a little bit more warm than I liked um, on my skin. Um, so since they're coming out with new shades tomorrow actually, I don't know why I decided, because I, I went today because I was off of work, okay. And I picked up the shade 450. I swatched the shade that I actually use in NARS and then I saw which one of the Fenty when it was dried down matched the shade of NARS. So this one matched the most closely. So I'm going to use this one today. I'm thinking that this is going to work for me. And I'm just going to blend this out with a brush. I was going to get the like foundation brush but it was all sold out. So one thing I want to say about Sephora.com is they have this new feature where you input the shade of foundation that you like the match of your skin. You know, like, since I like NARS, I will input NARS New Caledonia, which is my shade in NARS that I like. And then it will give me the recommendation of which shade I would be, whatever other foundation I'm currently, you know, researching. That stuff is a liar. <laughs> That thing does not work. And I'm so happy I did not order the foundation based on those recommendations. So here we've got a nice little medium coverage. I thought when I saw people like using this stuff online that it gave you, uh, you know, a better coverage than this. But hey, this is what I've got. So, all right, here I go again with more. Just in the areas where I want to have more coverage, obviously. And I'm just going to press this in those areas. Okay, that's better. Healer concealer. I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics. This is in my um, haul for this month. I just like to use this to um, neutralize that area basically to make the under eye be the same shade as the rest of my face. So I've got a little bit of brightness there. Um, but it's not like overwhelming. And just stick with what is in front of me and that is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Flawless Concealer and I'm just going to put a little down here on the bridge of the nose. 
Cupid's bow. You can see how bright this is. So now, everything's starting to balance out more. Starting to balance out a bit more. So. And then I've brought just a little bit of additional brightness onto the skin. All right. So the next step I'm gonna do is set the under eye with my pretty vulgar, my pretty vulgar powder. This is in my haul for January. Right underneath. My Lawless Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder in the shade Golden Translucent. This is like a medium deep powder. It doesn't translate anywhere golden. Alright, brows are done. Eyeshadow Primer, Milani, of course. Time to carve out these brows, and I'm going to use the L'Oreal. Gonna use the same shade that is that I talked about in my previous video. This is Cocoa. Ooh, that was a lot. I didn't mean to put that much. Just to be on the safe side, putting my pretty vulgar powder lightly, you know, just patting that right in under the eye. Now, I'm so excited about this palette! Okay, so guys, here we are. Here we are. Jay loves you. She is a new subscriber on my channel. She commented on my Natasha Denona video and recommended this palette. I told you on that video that the gold palette would probably be the only one that I would get because the other ones just didn't, you know, I didn't think I would get a lot of use out of them. Well, here I am because of Jay Loves You, okay? <laughs> she, I mean, it's not her fault. She didn't convince me. She just said, you should reconsider. I think it would look good on your skin tone. I was like, okay, well, maybe I'll just get the sunset. And then I started researching, watching these videos. I'm like, okay, I got to get the Leela. Oh, and I get the sunset. I have so many warm tone palettes. So now I have the Leela. I have the Leela. <laughs> and we're going to be playing with it today. Um, it's makeup play time. I really don't get a lot of time to play in my shadows like I would like. Like I get all these beautiful palettes with all these beautiful colors in them. But I have a regular 9 to 5 job. So I just put a limit on myself of what I am comfortable with walking around in in the office. And bright pink eyeshadow is not one of those things that I'm comfortable walking around in. Okay? Look at this. And I was thinking, it's only got four mattes in it. I was like, I don't know how I'm going to work with that. Because I don't think the mattes are going to show up. They show up. They show up. Uh, yes. And they show up even better in this palette on my skin tone than the mattes in the gold palette. Girl, I'm so... Thank you. Jay loves you. Okay, I'm going to go into... I'm going into Nude Mauve. On a fluffy brush in in the transition area and the way these uh colors the mattes in this palette are showing up these are this is the way i was expecting um some of the shades to perform or to look to look in the new nude palette by huda beauty i was expecting um I was expecting the shades to be a little bit more muted, a little bit more dusky, like uh, more, you know, I guess, yeah, like, I don't know. You know, like a dusty rose, like has a little bit of a muted tone to it. It's not like pure pink. It's not like a punchy, in your face, hot pink. It's more kind of grayish. That's what I was look, thought that the Huda Beauty 
new nude would have more of and instead it has a lot more pink you know this can translate very neutral and very nude um on at least on my skin tone you know what i'm gonna move on to applying the glitters okay because what i found with this with her formula is that you kind of need to apply your metallics and then blend them out with the matte shades in the palette. So I'm going to go into Layla and that is the dark metallic shade in the palette. And I'm laying that right on this edge here on the outer V. And I wasn't thinking I would have laid this down before I did my nude mauve shade. Still laying down on top of the matte shade pretty well but it would have laid down much more pigmented if i had done what i just said so i'm going in with something that i usually would because this is makeup playtime, okay so it's not the time to be trying to make something that's wearable i mean sure i could do something that's wearable but this isn't the time for that it's time to play it's playtime, okay all right so i'm going <laughs> girl all right i'm going in with amethyst this punchy purple Ooh. right outside of that shade punchy purple look at that definitely wouldn't be going to work with this on going in with the shade next to it this is makeup playtime i'm going into magnetic y'all ain't seen me Woo! Oh, guys 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 oh my this is so beautiful. You see how it just blends so beautifully with the amethyst. I'm going to go back in with amethyst. Pop that right there to make that blend so prettily. Prettily is not a word, but hey, it is today. Okay. Okay, what are you going to do on the inner corner, girly? I'm going in with Helio. This is a nice, ooh, beautifully creamy metallic in the inner corner. in the inner corner great so you've got this beautiful transition from a light shade to the pink to the purple i'm gonna go back into the pinky tone in this palette make sure i didn't cover it up too much and so what i really also i want to do now is add a punch i've already punched but i'm gonna punch some more all right, so I'm going to do some punching, okay? I'm going to do that with pure, per pure, per pure, per pure, okay? This is a nice, bright, metallic. The other ones were more of satins. This is really metallic-y, and I'm going to see how that looks on, oh my. You guys see, so look, there's a difference between this up here and that down there. Because all I did was lay it right across the bottom. There's a difference, guys. It may be subtle and you may not be able to see it all like that, but there's a difference. Voila. Taking that, and this is a, a metallic shade. Taking that on this tiny brush here and just placing that on this outer edge here. To do some blending of the metallic shade that we used earlier that deep rich metallic shade we used earlier doing some blend in there to add some more pink into that transition going in with my nude mauve again into my transition area so into Helio, I'm going again, the shade I used on my inner corner. I'm getting that on a brush and bringing that up here. So we've got this whole area just a glowing, all right? Hey! Okay. Going into Amara. I'm really going far with this. Should be interesting to edit, huh? Adding a little bit more richness to the transition area. So for my brow bone area, I'm going in with the gold. <laughs> Magnolia. Oh my gosh. Look at the pigmentation there, guys. 
Jeez. It's just so creamy. It lays on so nicely. And then it's there. And it's like it's self-blending. Put some of that same shade. I always like to use the same shade. Typically, I won't say always. Typically, the same shade on my inner corner that I used on my brow bone. So I'm going to take amethyst all over the bottom lash not all over but run this into the bo under the bo bottom lash line going into amara amara whatever it is which is the rich matte shade in the palette and blending that underneath just running that underneath the amethyst shade and looks makes a nice pretty purple pink blowout situation going on step is lashes or not lashes mascara y'all know I don't do lashes funny thing is I own lashes I have like two new pairs of lashes next step is liner my liner of choice is going to be my makeup revolution Oh, that's a wing for you right there. Slice somebody with that. Okay. Do a tight line with my Man Eater Mascara. I mean, eyeliner. Just to give the lashes a little bit more depth and dimension at the lash line. Mascara will be Superhero by It. I think it's time for me to get a new one of these. This stuff is getting chunky, but it still work, y'all. This mascara is freaking bomb, bro. Alrighty. Mascara is on on the top. Let me kick this excess stuff off. <laughs> Got it off for the most part. There is some here, right in that area that I did not put the powder down all the way up there. I didn't get it. I didn't get it up there like I should have. Hey right, guys, I'm gonna do my other eye, then be back to finish the face. All right, so here are the eyes finished. Um, I'll give you guys a little quick close up before we finish the face. So, yeah. All right, <laughs> next step, bronzer. Going into my Sephora um, Spiced Market palette. Yeah, and I've got a full video on this palette comparing it to Juvia's Place and such and such. So, but yeah, it's really a review on this. And then at the end, I mentioned a couple other palettes that are set up similarly to this. Now for contour, this is the LA Girl Pro um, Contour Powder in the shade Deep. And this is very deep, so I'm going in very lightly. With a pointed brush. When I was at Sephora, I picked up some blushes. I don't think I have any high or mid-range blushes. High end or mid-range blushes. I just typically just go for, you know, Milani or um, I got the Sephora little palette. Or Juvia's Place, really. So, um, I wanted to try these ABH blushes. They've got these blush trios. And... Can sit, oh, well, you can't even see anything. <laughs> here, you get the three shades here. This is the richest um, trio that they had. It's called Berry Adore. And, um, yeah, I was just curious. And I think, I feel like for Sephora, it is relatively inexpensive. This was $30, and you get three shades. Versus NARS, you get one shade for $30. Granted, it's, you know, bigger than these little strips, but whatever. So, I'm going to go in with one of these shades. I think that this will go, um, these shades will go nicely with my uh, face to, or my eyes today because I'm doing real purple, pinky tones on the eyes. So I'm going to go in with the deeper shade, which is called Velvet. The only thing with this is your blush brush rub <laughs> might not fit on the, you know, fit in there, but. So I actually probably went a little bit too ham with these, <laughs> with the blush. 
So I'm going to cover that up. Actually, I'm going to go on my highlight first and then go do my cover up. The highlight is Tom Ford. So beautiful. It's so luxe. I wish um, packaging is very lightweight so when things are a little bit more lightweight they feel a little bit cheaper so I think of Pat McGrath her palette is like heavy you can feel the quality in here while this looks very pretty it's very lightweight very lightweight I was not expecting that so um, but we're gonna go ahead and this is the radiant perfecting powder and this is the shade number two Luna they only have two shades this is the shade that would be most fitting for darker skinned people. It is a drier formula of highlights, but it goes onto the skin so beautifully. I am just really happy with this. I thought I was going to return it. Um, my husband picked it up for me for Christmas, but it just goes on so nicely. And it's not a glittery highlight at all. It's a nice, smooth highlight. So it gives the skin like a nice sheen, which is what I'm really like going for in my highlights nowadays. Kind of tone everything down. I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth, really focusing on top of that highlight and then on top of the blush. All right, I'm going down with, going down. I'm going in with my NYX Downtown Beauty Liner. Okay, just like in my other video, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Matte Lipstick and Toasted Truffle. Since there's so much going on on the eyes, I'm going to do something a little bit toned down on the lips. I'm going to go into the center with Christy. Gosh, that highlight is so pretty. So I'm going to use an Oil Strike, my Oil Strike um, Facial Spray uh, by Limelight. And so this is kind of like a mattifying effect. It's not going to dry your skin out. It, I just find that it helps the makeup to melt into the skin, but then it doesn't add a dew to it. Okay, so here is the final look. Show you the highlight. Okay, so what do you guys think of... First of all, this little series that I've got that I think I'm going to start is Makeup Playtime. Yes, I, you know, every day, most of the time when I'm doing my videos for you guys, I am doing them right before I head to work. So many of the looks are very neutral. They're not very colorful, I'll say that. So they, you know, might have a pop of green or might have a pop of blue, but it's not like a royal blue or like, a, you know seafoam green or anything like that like it'll just be a subtle pop that you really wouldn't notice unless you are really you know into the makeup or if you were just like sitting there staring at me so I would like put it in there subtly but it's not the focus so this makeup playtime is I thought would be a way for me to share more creative looks with you guys and some of my more um you know palettes that I'm not really using all the time that may not be more everyday friendly so I just thought it would be fun to show you guys some of these palettes that I've been really itching to get more use out of that I've really been trying to wanted to pull some of them more um standout shades from these palettes so you're gonna see me pop use some more Pat McGrath palettes because I've got a lot of them okay <laughs> okay I've been getting them okay um some Juvia's Place, because you know they've got all them colors in there, but I haven't hardly touched any of the colors. So let me know what you think about this type of video. Let me know what you think about this series um, that's less of a review type and more of a let me just pull out some makeup products and put them on my face on camera to share with you guys how I like them, how I would use them, you know, that type of a thing. So I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, let me know. <laughs> let me know your thoughts on the look, any of the products that I use in this video. Let me know what you're thinking. Uh, Lila? Lila? I don't know how you say Lila, Lila, tell me if you want a series on that palette because I will happily oblige. You can get neutral looks with that palette. You can get out there looks with that palette and... The shades show up on my skin tone, so I am very happy with that. 
I'm happy with the Lila palette. This is my third time using it. So, all right, guys. I think I've rambled enough for my outro. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up to let me know that you like this type of video. You like a Sunday fun day makeup playtime, okay? Thumbs up the video. If you want to see more reviews, more content, more um, makeup playtimes for me, definitely subscribe. And I will be talking to you guys really, really soon. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.